Welcome back to our tutorial series on how to use OpenModeler within QGIS. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the raster calculator tool that was created for this project so that you can do some post-processing analysis on your models. What I would like to do is remove all the cells in this model which are not um, high probability. In other words, I would like to have a raster output which shows only the red areas and not the green and blue areas. When I have done that for both layers, I can then put, produce a difference map which shows areas where we expect a gain in species presence, areas which uh, show where we expect a loss in species presence, and areas where we don't expect any change. To do this, I need to follow a simple process. The first thing to do is select one of the layers. I'm going to select the present layer. And then open the raster calculator, which is found under raster, raster calculator. Within the raster calculator, you can construct simple expressions or formulas which um, produce a new raster output. I'm going to start with the present day data set and add it to my expression um, builder below by double clicking on this layer. And then I'm going to create a simple expression which says where this layer's value is greater than 70 I simply type the number 70 and what this will do is produce an output which will be a boolean surface boolean meaning either values of 0 or 1 values of 0 will represent um, cells that fell below our 70 percent threshold and values of 1 will represent cells which are above or equal to our 70 percent threshold I need to uh, tell the raster calculator where to place the output files that's what, that are produced so I'll go over here and select an output directory and I'm going to create a new folder for them you can call it whatever you like and I'll give the, the output data set a name and then click save now I'm ready to run my, my calculation. It's going to save the output in presentbool.tiff as a GeoTIFF file and it will add the result into our project using the simple formula that we've created. I click OK to run the formula. What results is a new layer that's been added to QGIS. On this new layer, you can see black areas showing no prediction of presence and white areas showing prediction of presence. When the calculator completed, you might have noticed that the data set was all grey. What I did was I went into the layer properties by double clicking on it. And I just made sure that we were using stretch to min max and that I loaded the actual um, minimum maximum layer uh, cell values from the layer and then I said OK and that gave me a nice black and white image. You can further enhance this um, visualization by hiding away all the black cells. I just want to demonstrate using the inspect tool over here, the identify tool, that if you click on one of these cells it shows you the value of 0 for that cell. If you click on one of these cells it shows you a value of 1. So we have our boolean surface. Let's hide away all the 0 cells. In order to hide away the black cells, I'll double click on the present bool layer to get its properties window open. And then I will use, uh, on the transparency tab, I will use this icon over here to select the value on the map that I don't want to see. I simply click on any black pixel. When I'm done, I can say OK. And now I see only white cells which show present um, prediction for Anopheles Gambier. I'm going to hide away my other model outputs and add in my um, heel shade as a backdrop so that you can understand better what we've um, created. 
And as a third um, option, I'm going to also use a pseudo color map for this um, layer in the layer properties here. So I'm going to change it from grayscale to pseudo color. So now you can see that the areas where we have a prediction of present, of present for our present day map are shown in red and there, all other cells are hidden away and masked away. This allows you to much more easily see the present uh, prediction in context of the landscape. I'm going to follow the same process for the future data set so that we can then compare the prediction of presence between um, present and future. I won't walk you through, uh, talk you through the process, I'll just complete it. It's exactly the same as what we've done before. And then I say OK to run the analysis. Once again, I, if I get a grey image, I just go into the layer properties and I choose to do uh, stretch to min max, and load the actual values from the band, and I can say apply just to show you in the background. It's now showing me a black and white surface, white cells being predicted present. I'm also going to use pseudo color for this one and I'm also going to set the black cells to be transparent. Okay, so I've got now two um, thresholded layers which I can then compare the present and absence between. So this is for my future prediction and that's more for my, um, my apologies. This is for my f present prediction and this is for my future prediction. Now what I'd like to do to finish this analysis is to create a new raster surface which compares the two um, layers and creates a new layer which shows minus one if a species has been lost, zero if no change, and plus one if a species presence prediction has been gained in a cell. Before I continue, it's always a good idea to save your work in QGIS. So that you can come back to it later. I did that by just clicking on the Save Project icon over here. For the final part of our analysis, I will produce a difference map which shows where we expect to see a net gain or net loss of species um, in the future climate scenario. To do this, I'll once again use the raster calculator. And then I'll simply subtract the present from the future. So I'll build a small expression which says future minus present. And I'll save this in a layer called difference. And I say OK to run the analysis. And what I get is a new layer added to QGIS. This difference layer, I'll once again set some symbology properties so it's easier to visualize. I'm going to set it to pseudo color. And I'm going to make it slightly transparent. I'm going to hide away the future and present layers so you can see now the difference layer in the context of the landscape. Areas that are shown in red are areas where we expect a gain in species pre um, uh, occurrence. So it will show us a plus one in the data layer. Areas in blue are where we expect to have a loss in species um, occurrence. That shows us a minus one. And the re remainder are areas where we expect no change. And it shows a zero. 
That concludes the um, introduction that we've given you to, to the tools in um, Open Modeler and um, QGIS. Um, there are many other things that you can do with the tools we've provided, but we hope that what we've shown you in these um, four videos will be enough to get you started with building your own uh, species distribution scenarios in present and future climbs. Thank you very much for watching.